right. Hello, everybody. Uh, I hope you can hear me. We're getting set up for today's mailbag, which starts at 10 a.m., just like usual. And according to my watch, it is about 9.45. Hopefully that's what it says on the screen there. So if you do the math, uh, if you are watching this later and not live, you can jump ahead 15 minutes to see the start of the mailbag. Or you can just keep watching the kittens, although um, they were out running around for a long time this morning, so I don't know if they're just going to you know, sort of nap or if they're going to be entertaining or what. Anyway, I'm going to start bringing the mail in, and, uh, and then, like I said, in 15 minutes, we'll start with the mailbag proper. Whimsy guessing about which door is going to open, otherwise, she will be running out. No, I know that's how you work, Whims, and the kittens, too. The kittens have been really excited to go out lately. We've been letting them out every morning for, you know, half an hour, an hour just to run around the living room mostly. And they are now loving it. They want out every chance they get. Just a practical upshot of that is that I have to be really careful about closing the doors so that there's not a kitten running through it as I'm closing it. Cover up one of these addresses very well. How did I miss that? I got all the rest. I missed one. Oh, I see, because I was looking at the other side. It doesn't have an address on it.
Wow, you came early to mailbag today. I think that's a first. I came to kitten. There's almost always kittens. Ow, 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 oh, ow. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
use my thumb to push it up and I hyperextended it. Ow, ow, ow. ow. And that's going to hurt even more later. Mm. Sorry. I like me using those medical terms though, like hyperextended. Pretty good, right? All right, I think it is just about time. Good job, kiddos. Hi, Logan. What are you looking at? Sadberry. Such a tiny Sadberry. Okay. All right. I'm sorry this is the that <clears throat> Let's check our camera angles. Not too bad. This is why I like to wear an overshirt, though. I've got, got a gap here. Hey! Oh! Oh, she's gonna break up that fight between Custard and Loganberry. We have a break up. Yeah. Not bad. If they're working on a door, I'm sure we can participate. Well, I know people, my, uh, my t shirt says education is important, but Loganberry is important to her. I know some of you are gonna ask what it says, so there you go. Let's, uh, let's start with the mailbag jingle. Now that I've taken a look and it seems like the camera angles are acceptable enough. Here we go. Maybe. So thanks for joining us today. It looks like today we've got an awful lot of mail uh, relating to Kitten Academy Con, KA Con, coming up September 15th. And there's a big raffle at the KA Con, and people have been sending stuff to uh, raffle off at the raffle, which is awesome. And uh, there is a lot of that in today's mailbag. So it's exciting to see. And uh, we had some letters somewhere, didn't we? Have a couple letters in here somewhere? Thought oh, we did. I thought I put that back there, cover me up. Okay, maybe not. Maybe just these are what we had for letters, quote unquote letters. We'll still start with them if I can find something to open them with. All right. So first off, we have uh, one here from Lily Cat. It says, forgot to put in box, goes with blankets. Well, that's a bit of a spoiler, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But uh, let's figure it out. Thank you. Let's get right to it. All right. It says, Mr. A, if you open this, do not read on the stream, please. Well, how about that? Mr. A did open it. I guess I won't read it on the stream. Oh. oh, wow. So you sent little cards to describe um, what your blankets that you've sent are. Yeah. Each of the blankets has a purpose, and each one has a card that goes with it. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, take a look at those. You're going to like those cards. They're really cute. But I'm not going to show them because I'm not clear on whether you want me to show those cards or not. But they're really, really cute. No, the cards are you can uh, prop them up. With now, that's the thing she said not to read, but that's fine, yes. Oh, maybe because it's got a phone number on the back. You want to hide that. Did I show this to everybody just a second ago? Sorry if I did. Wow. We're pros out here, though. We're real pros. Uh, anyway, all right. This says, for KA Con Raffle, 2019 Raffle, Care of Brew, and there's a little uh, kitty face there. Very cute. Oh, yeah, you can keep this along with that. It's just instructions for how to deploy the blanket. Okay, good. 
Oh, look at that, $15 Starbucks cards to raffle off as part of the Kitten Academy convention raffle. That's great. We are big Starbuckers here. In fact, that's what's in my coffee mug right now is Starbucks. I'm sure cats and coffee. Yeah, I know. Aren't they great? So I, I guess let's hang on to that and I'll pull it over here and show everybody when we get to the blankets. How about that? Uh, who is this from? This is from somebody, but there was no note. It's just the Starbucks cards inside. Oh, this is for Sally H. Everybody knows Sally H on the Discord server and etc. So thank you so much for these. These will definitely be great at the raffle. And we will put that with the other raffle stuff. Okay, here's another one, KA Con raffle. It is all for the raffle. Let me tell you guys, if you are watching this and you don't, you want to go to KA Con, you don't know anything about it yet, um, just check out our website, kitten.academy. And the most recent blog post there is all about KA Con and how you can attend. And I hope you do. Also, I like this. I don't see this very often on, on mail that's sent to us, but uh, this person has put their return address, and at the bottom of the return address, they put Discord Torch Song. So it's very super convenient. We know exactly who this is from right here on the outside. This is from Torch Song, and it is something that Torch Song has sent for the KACON raffle. And it says, Detains Treasures. And inside it contains, oh, wow. It contains treasures. It does contain treasures. So it contains treasures, custom metal work. And look, it is custom made little, uh, I guess, brass or bronze. No, actually, that's probably copper. I'm going to go with copper. Good job. Little copper kitties. Well, I just, I figured it wasn't copper because copper is, you know, it's expensive. But it does look like it's real copper to me. And they are signed by the artist in the metal. How cool is that? Little cat earrings. They're beautiful. Those are really pretty with a little bit of patina and the, the deeper parts there to make it really stand out. Gorgeous little kitty earrings from Gatane's Treasures. Wow, custom metal work. That is awesome. So those will be part of the raffle. Very cool. Wow, this is this raffle is going to be something else. Um, I see a lot of these other ones also say for the raffle, for the raffle, for the raffle, for the raffle. Wow. Yeah. This one also, here, I might as well pull this one out because I noticed this one says, first off, it is addressed to Mr. A Academy, which I guess is, uh, that we're going to open that next. Uh, that'll be the, the next uh, branch of Kitten Academy, the Mr. A Academy. Right. Uh, this one says, not for KA mailbag, raffle only. So I'm not going to open it and show it to you. But it is from Nivik Arts. Oh, so it's, like it's going to be, yeah, yeah, it's going to be some really awesome Nivik Arts art. Uh, he's done a, a million really cool things. A lot of them you can see on his Twitter. He tweets a lot of them. So if you're not following Nivik Arts on Twitter, you might want to. A lot of KA-related art there. It's very cool stuff. Uh, all right, this one also says Kitten Academy, K.A. Con Raffle, and this one has uh, little angel cats on it. They're very cute. I don't know if you can see them, but they're, they're little cats that are flying around Where? with uh, flowers and wings. <laughs> they're actually super cute. A little tiny, though. What? It smells like coffee. Could there be coffee in here for the raffle? Raffle coffee? Maybe there's raffle coffee. Maybe there's raffle coffee, or maybe I'm just smelling coffee. Let's Are you see. supposed to open the raffle? Yeah, in general, unless they say not to, we're opening them so people can see what kinds of things are in the raffle. And ah, uh, I was right. Oh yeah, this is another one. This I think this is from Paradise Cat, and it does contain oh, coffee. Oh, Hawaii? Yes, the whole real Hawaiian Kona coffee. From Hawaii, yeah. Um, and here is another real Kona coffee from That's Hawaii. So that you can drink it and run around like kittens. Yes, exactly. Well, and while you're running around, you can burn off some calories because also part of this are the Kona Carmax, which I was talking about just in last week's mailbag, which is uploading right now. I talk all about them. They're sweet like kittens. They are sweet like kittens. And then finally. Two bags of real Hawaiian 
uh, macadamia nuts, which I believe are one of, if not the most expensive nut. They're nutty like kittens. They are nutty like kittens. <laughs> it all comes together. Yes, yeah, okay. That's for the kitten. There is a note here. It says, little mousey got something for you. <laughs> and it says, Mr. A, I thought I'd share some of your favorites with a few of the KA Khan attendees. Just spreading a little taste of aloha from Paradise Cat. And then it says, repeat, this is for K.A. Con Raffle, not your pantry. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I, I'm really excited to see whoever wins this, what they think of all this wonderful stuff. The Kona coffee is fantastic, and these Carmacks are like my kryptonite. Uh, so, if kryptonite was something that Superman ate a ton of. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm not a comic book guy, but I, I, I think. Um, so, at the raffle, are they going to mix and match? Or are yeah, they, they are. Really Here. That's a great question. Why don't you write KAcon raffle in bigger letters on that while I tell everybody the answer to your great question, uh, which is <clears throat> that the raffle committee is planning on combining a lot of these things into uh, packages. So, you know, you won't necessarily have to use a raffle ticket just to get one little thing, unless that one little thing is completely awesome, in which case you probably will. So um, that'll make it kind of fair. Exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. So I'm not... Exactly. Yes. So, yes. And I don't know exactly how they're going to manage all of that, but I do know that uh, a lot of the things that are coming in are going to be combined. And then some of the things that are coming in are not going to be combined, and that's fine too. Yes. You can write all over those things. Those are all for raffle. They all technically say raffle on it, but oh, <laughs> that's cute. She wrote mew, mew on it. Are you helping out, buddy? Oh, my cart. My you cart. Can I have my cart? No, it's my cart. Can you keep my cart? He thinks he wants to hang out with Lodge. I know. Oh, raffle, God. raffle, 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 raffle. Waffle. Sound like the hamburger. Waffle. Isn't that what the, that what the hamburger says? Who's the hamburger? He's a, a cultural icon. That's Obviously it. not an icon. <laughs> he's, he's part of the gang of characters that are in the McDonald's commercials. I wrote Waffle. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, so this one has, uh, this, this box has so much guidance for me. On this side it says bottom, no note here, bottom, open other side. And then on each of the sides it says top, note this way, open this side. So uh, it's very clear what I should do. I like open that. It on the other side. Open it on the other side. No, I can follow directions. When the directions are there, I can definitely follow those directions. I like this too. I like it when it's just completely unambiguous what to do. And look at that right on top. It says the note. And I can see what's in this box. Wow. Oh, and it's got little notes. It's got little names on it. Oh, this is going to be so cute. Oh, that's It's so got cool. a heart on it. How cute is that? And they're already trying to get into what's in here, but <laughs> there's oh, a note. You can read his name. I know he can. Cartwheel's name is on the thing that's right on the top of this box, and he is going for it already. Dear Kitten Academy, greetings from Canada. It has been quite a while since I've mailed anything in. I've continued to make toys and blankets and have been donating them to my local shelter. That is so great. I dropped the last batch after mailbag and they said the rings were a hit, so that is always nice to hear. They have been dubbed Rascal Rings because they are a favorite toy of Rascal, who was tubby while at K.A. I can go with that name. These, by the way, you have, have sent us these in the distant past, and they are fantastic cat toys. And uh, we've actually, you, some of the ones that you sell that are, the, the, that are wrinkly, like uh, I'll pull one out in a minute. Uh, we used in that photo as a hat on the, who was it that was wearing that thing as a hat? Which thing? This thing. Um, it was uh, It's donut. the cutest photo. Yeah, maybe it was Donut. That sounds like the right time anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, it says, favorite toy rascal who was tubby while at KA. Not every cat or kitten will love them so much, but I enjoy making them, and it is worth it if, if, if a few really enjoy them. 
The other items are crazy flower balls. I have included some for each of the Wiggles, a batch for future endowments or deployment or whatever you want. And the bag is for the KA Con raffle. Everything is 100% cotton, so hopefully good for kittens to chew on. I think and hope they would make good teething toys. Hopefully firm enough to satisfy the chewing, but with nothing hard. Anyhow, enough rambling from me. Thanks for all you do for the kittens and all of us that watch too. From Kaylee Skylin on Discord. Kaylee Skylin. Yeah. I've seen Kaylee on the chat, though. I always think of uh, that Kaylee from Firefly, of course. Yes. Of course, I love that you've also you've written the note here. So let me show everybody what's in the box. Here you have a bundle of the uh, three of the rascal rings and one of the flower balls, I guess we're calling these. And uh, it says cartwheel with a little heart. Cute. It's adorable. And then you've included similarly, oh, this says for future endowments or deployment or whatever you see fit. Look at all of those and you tie them together with a piece of uh, thread so that they all stick together. That's super cute. Um, speaking of, there's a couple in here that have come loose, I think, or maybe were loose. No, oh, was that part of the cartwheel? We'll find out. No, all they all they, yeah. they all have three and then a little flower. So this is Flip. Flip has, and look, oh. they're each a different color. Flip gets the blue yeah. ones. Cartwheel gets the little red ones. Whimsy gets these uh, sort of pink and blue ones. Mm -hmm. And Twist gets these red, very colorful uh, red and yellow and blue Twiddle gets green and white, and and I can see that we're missing one kitty, which must be what these three are about, right? Did they already steal one out? Did they? Because mm -hmm. we're missing, uh, do the math, twist, flip, twiddle, fidget. cartwheel. Yes, there's none for fidget. So this, this is clearly for fidget. Um, but it's also missing the little note for Fidget and the ball. So I'm guessing one of these kittens stole it while I wasn't looking and ran away with it. Possibly. At any rate, we can determine that these are definitely for Fidget. And if we don't find it, we can uh, put it together with this ball that is exactly the right color for Fidget. So it will all work out and be nice and even. We'll make sure of that one way or the other. Then, as you said, you've included a bag of these for the K.A. Con raffle. And look at that. It is full of them in awesome colors. Oh, I like these yellow ones and these pastels. Those are really cool. Oh, and the red. I like them all. These are awesome. Very awesome. Oh, they have names. Look at this. This one is Pastel Stripes. This one is Lemon Swirl. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And I can't read them all because they're in their own little bags, but that's awesome. And we have a twist in here. So these go for the raffle, and I'm going to keep this stuff separate. So I'm going to let DJ label these for the raffle. Or do you think you think I should leave the raffle ones out and use this for endowments? Sorry. You're too busy with a flip. She's putting flip in her jacket, so that's fine. I'll set these over here for now. Nah, I'm going to do it the other way because these are in their own bag. So I'm going to set the bag out for the raffle, and then I'm going to put all the endowments in here just so. And that way we can label this for endowments and we don't get the two things confused. And because she's so busy playing with Flip up there, I'm just going to write Wiggles. I see. You very Actually, she's got mom's face on right now. <laughs> very unimpressed looking face. Wow. Kaylee Skyland, thank you so much. These are incredibly cool. And I think it's great that people at the KA Con will get a chance to get some for their kitties. That's fantastic. Uh, i got to have a little bit of coffee here. Take a coffee break. Mm. This, um, these mugs came in a earlier mailbag. Around Christmas time, you can see that it's got all these crazy looking Christmas cats on it. And I bring these everywhere with me. So everybody sees me carrying these things around. It's not anywhere near Christmas. And I'm still carrying these mugs around because they are awesome. They're actually really good coffee mugs. Um, I like them a lot because uh, they've got this lid that is so simple 
that I can wash it and it doesn't get soap in it. Like that's the problem. <laughs> Somebody did, I think. It's got to be around this room somewhere. It's going to turn up eventually. I do it all. Anyway, I was just saying, uh, with most coffee mugs, you get those really fancy ones, with the, the latches and stuff on top to keep all your coffee in. We've got a few of those. And no matter how you wash them, the soap sticks in there and you drink the coffee and it tastes like soap. Mm -hmm. But this one has a latch that's super effective and super simple and it washes out real clean and I love it. Okay. So that's from a much previous mailbag. Thank you to whoever it was that had sent that. All right, this one has the Kitten Academy, uh, the KA Con 2019 logo on the side. So somebody really knows what's what. And it says to the KA Con Raffle Committee, care of Kitten Academy. It doesn't say not to open it and show everybody what's going to be part of the raffle, though. Oh, in fact, it says raffle stuff, okay to read on stream. I love it. This is somebody that knows what's up. Yeah. Oh, look at that. This is a cat wearing a, a little flower hat. And inside it says, Mr. A, DJ, and the raffle committee sending in our donation for the KACON 2019 raffle. Being bored and card gaming nerds, we once again are offering cat-themed games for the cat-loving crowd. Looking forward to meeting everyone at the con. Take care, Linda and Matt, a.k.a. Kelly Mo and Sir Geek. Well, thank you guys so much. We are really looking forward to seeing you at the con also. And what did you send? Oh, Oh, these look really cool. I, I expected these to be games that we have seen before, but they are not. There are more games. Yes, there are more games that we have not seen yet that are cat themed. Yeah, this one is called, yes, this one's called Slap Cat. And this it's got a logo of paws <laughs> slapping each other. The DJ is highly entertaining by it. It that says, looks like the gift of Maggie and Pop It does look like I, it. I mean, it, yes. it doesn't look anything like it. But it it's makes like you do that, yes. This is for ages eight and up, a game uh, two to six players, and a game lasts 15 minutes. Card. And it comes in a really nice tin, which I like. Card. And it says, in this fast paced card game, you play as a mad scientist attempting to assemble the world's most adorable cat. Draft cards by quickly slapping them as they are revealed, earn bonus points for kitty fedoras, bows, balls of yarn, and more. But be careful, slap too slow, and you could be left with a handful of fish bones. That sounds super fun. Yes. All right, here's one that is called Kitty Paw. Paw your way to victory. This is for ages six and up, one to four players. I like ones that are one player. You can play all by yourself. That so suits sad. me. No, I, that suits me. Believe me. Uh, and it's also a 15-minute game. Kitty paw, paw your way to victory. Unfortunately, the box doesn't really describe it any more than that. It's a very cute box. And on the back, it shows these little kitties that are boxes. It appears to be a box stacking game, maybe. Uh, maybe there's little cardboard box cats inside Let's that you stack up. Box cats. I know. I don't know how well you can see this, um, but there's, there's these little boxes that are cats and they each have ears on them, just like the box itself has ears on it that pop up when you take the cellophane off, which I will not do. Um, but it looks interesting. Kitty Paw. I'm going to have to look this one up online to see what it's all about. Then we have Twist. The, the, yes, Twist. The card game. Merchandising. Uh, okay. <laughs> And then we have You Gotta Be Kitten Me Deluxe Edition. And this is also in a nice tin. This must be how they do these, these games now. Very nice. You Gotta Be Kitten Me Deluxe Edition. It says You Gotta Be Kitten Me is a fast and fun party game featuring adorable animals with even more adorable accessories. The last remaining player with cards in his hands wins. Bluff your way to victory in this cute but cat-throat party game. I see. The Deluxe Edition comes with all new bonus cards that will drive these hyper-cute, ultra-adorable, and fursome animals completely wild. 55 cards from the original You Gotta Be Kitten Me deck and 54 card bonus deck. 
How about that? Very cool. It says this contains 109 cards, two reminder cards, one rule book, 10 score trackers, and 10 meeples. I have no idea what a meeple is. Uh, it says two to 10 players, half an hour game, and it's for ages 10 and up. Very cool. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, Callie Moe and Sir Geek, these are awesome. And obviously the most fun item that you sent was this uh, box full of packing material because these chips cannot get enough of that. Uh, let's see if I can combine what you sent uh, with this stuff from Kaylee and see if I can make it all fit in here together, perhaps. That would be too convenient. It will, I think, just barely fit. And then DJ can label that all to go to the raffle committee together. I know you want the bubble wrap. I think it's about time to get you kids in a tissue pit. Maybe we can do that soon this weekend. Probably not today. we got a lot of stuff going on today. But maybe tomorrow. We don't have much going on tomorrow. You want to label this? It's all raffle things. Okay. Oh, I took it back. Here it is. Was this also raffle? Uh, no, this is Wiggles and Endowment, which I wrote on one side. But write it somewhere else, too. Okay, hi, oh, hi, hi, Pigeon. Hi, Twiddle. Pigeon and Twiddle. Hey, hi. Oh, hey, wait, it's a good thing that lid works so well. Okay, well, look, we have one item here that's a drop shipment. Why don't we do this before we get back to the other boxes? See what could possibly have been drop shipped to us this week. Oh. What is this? Oh no! <laughs> so you had to be here last week, I think, to understand what this must obviously be about. You can't do that now. You can't do what? Be here? You can't go back and be here. And why we just watched Avengers Endgame where they explained time travel very clearly. Very <laughs> Yes. Uh, at any rate, um, Tiny. Last oh, week, just for the people Tiny's like, I know, just for the people like DJ that weren't here last week, uh, last week someone sent in, um, they and really do need this someone sent in uh, catnip toys that were in the shape of the state of Ohio, catnip toys in the, in the shape of the state of Ohio, and I pulled them out and I looked at them and my brain said, this is definitely a state and it is not Connecticut, therefore we don't know what it is. So I couldn't figure out that it was Ohio, and I was, yeah, yeah. Well, now we're both gonna know because someone sent us a math puzzle with the states, their capitals, and fun facts. There we go. And there's a note in here somewhere. Let's see. The note says, "Mr. A, after last week's mailbag." Thought this might come in handy. When you moved recently, you actually drove through Ohio. Oh my god! I'll tell you, it looks different from the ground than the outline of the state. Yeah. Uh, Ohio, enjoy your gift from Susan, who is Minnie's sister, Nasus on Discord, N A S U S. That's funny. Yes. All right. Well, let's see. Is it made of a foam? I think it might be. State-shaped puzzle pieces. It is for age five and up. Foam, yes, it is foam puzzle pieces. So yeah, this would be fine. They'll probably tear it up though. No, yeah, they can have little little state pieces to around the Sure. Well, we could also get out the flag, the map that has all the states on it that I should have spent more time looking at. We have a we have a rug. Uh, some of you might remember we have a rug that is a map of the United States that we were using before we figured out where we were going to move. When we still thought we might have a choice, <laughs> which we didn't, as it turned out, have any choice in where we moved. But that's fine because we ended up someplace awesome. Anyway, thank you so much, Susan. This is very sweet of you, and I will definitely study it. Well, they seem like they're having enough fun already, but feel free to open that up. Susan, thank you. I definitely learned my lesson about Ohio. How, how can there be 47 pieces? That seems strange, doesn't it? How many states are there? There's 50. 
So I think they probably combined some of the New England ones. Oh, because they're so small? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> DJ has an excuse, of course, because she didn't even move here until, how old were you when you first came to the States? 20 24. 24. She didn't even get to the United States until she was 24. I have no excuse. I've lived here for a very long time, longer than I care to say. <laughs> My whole life. And uh, yes, I should know these things. They definitely taught me these things in grade school, and it, it, you can see how much it did not stick. All right, Susan, thank you. This says to Kid Academy for the KA Con raffle. Oh, and this is one of the packages from uh, Lily Cat. So I can tell because it's packed with a Trader Joe's bag. It says for KA Con raffle, the Figarella and the Cashew. So each of these, first off, <laughs> if you haven't been watching us for very long, you may not know. But if you have ever watched Mailbag, you probably do know that Lily Cat. Uh, knits blankets for all of the graduating cats and has done that for quite a while. So in this case, uh, the note that she sent says that um, each of the blankets that she has made for the raffle now oh, has a theme of its own and uh, is related to one of the kittens that has been previously adopted. So in this package contains two um, blankets that are the Figarella blanket and the Cashew blanket. Um, and I don't remember which is which off the top of my head, but I do recognize this um, beautiful sort of uh, Neapolitan pattern. These blankets are so soft and the kittens love them and the adopters love them. So these are fantastic and these will be raffled off. So this is finally your chance to have a Lily Cat blanket without needing to adopt uh, one of the Kitten Academy cats. Although if you can adopt a Kitten Academy yeah. kitten, that is definitely the best way to get one of these blankets, for sure. Maybe it should stay in the tray. Is this a tray? It is a tray, though. Yeah. Oh, crying out loud, kiddos. Anyway, uh, Lily Cat, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be a great chance, like I said, for someone who, who has wanted one of your blankets but hasn't been able to adopt a cat for one reason or another to finally get one of your blankets for their cat. That is awesome. I think you sent two boxes like that. Um, I don't know which one is the other, though. I think it might be this one here, maybe. I'm loving too. I know. Look at that. Wait, is this one Colorado? Where are they I think you got those two baggers, Wyoming and Colorado. They're both very square. So. Uh, I don't know what the next one is. There you go. Me, me, me. Should I put it back in this? No, maybe. <laughs> See what the kittens do. Those are going to go everywhere. That's fine. Okay. It is the point. So I think this must be the other blanket box. Oh no, this is not. This is not the other blanket box. Whimsy's sitting on the other blanket box. I can tell who this one is from. This one is clearly from Pat. Yes, and here we go. Whoa! It is leaping out of here. It says, uh, just a few things to get the CT Academy ready for graduations. Feel free to use or endow as you see fit from Pat M.M. Uh, Pat M.M. is our resident genius on the Discord chat who knows everything about everything that has happened Kitten Academy-wise. She's like an encyclopedia of Kitten Academy. Whenever you need to know who did something or what was what or, um, you know, anything about the classes, anything about stuff that happened on the stream. She really is. She's like our own historian. She knows literally everything that happens at Kitten Academy. She knows more than I do most of the time. Definitely more than I Yes, definitely more than DJ knows. So uh, anyway, Pat and Min, thank you for sending us this stuff. Uh, this is a Go Cat uh, mouse, which is an awesome mouse toy that is obviously always a big hit. One of Maggie's favorite things of all time. In fact, we've started, uh, you can buy these mice as just replacement, just the mice by itself. 
and we've had a stash of those and we just throw the mouse out and Maggie plays with it and carries it all around the house like a little tiny pet. And then she loves to push it under under things. She pushes them under the, all of the doors. She'll push it under the door to put it in here. She'll push it under the door to drop it down to the basement. She pushes it under the closet doors. And that's why we have to have more than one is because we don't, we don't always find them right away. And so it'll be missing for days and days. And then finally, like, I'll go down in the basement and it'll be on the stairs. I'll be like, ah, oh, she pushed it under the basement door. So hey, Maggie's a big fan of that, though. Always has been. And in fact, it looks like you sent us, oh, this is different. You sent us, uh, first off, you sent us a uh, Go Cat the Fur Thing, which is a furry, feathery uh, kick toy, which we I don't think I've seen this before, but it looks perfect. It looks a lot like a Rosie the Rat, um, but, you know, a slightly different variation on it. And then you sent us what is called, oh, I see. You sent us three different attachments. I've never seen these. So these are a pack of replacement attachments for the wand, um, which, by the way, uh, I would probably use our own wand on. This is the, the Go Cat wand is nice, but the wands that we like now are these fiberglass ones that are awesome. And we can clip these things right onto those, so it's awesome that way. Are these for the rat? Uh, I don't know if you guys can see. So first off, I, I'm sorry, I keep interrupting myself because this just gets funnier. These are attachments I haven't seen before. This attachment is called the octopus, and it is sort of like the mouse, but it's got these long octopus um, ends on it. Then this one is called the feather mouse, which is just like the mouse, but it's got feathers on the back, which sounds like taking it to the next level. And this one is called the dragonfly, which is uh, obviously it's like the mouse, but it's striped like a dragonfly. And it's got feathers that come out the side. These are going to be incredible. And the thing that made me laugh, you probably cannot see this. There's a tiny picture here of a man wearing a cat costume. And it says, two paws up from Chris the cat. Uh, I gotta take a I gotta take a little close up picture of that so people that are on the Discord at least will be able to see Chris the cat because that cracked me up. I will send that to the Discord right now. So the octopus gets the definitely two paws up from Chris the cat. Okay, uh, here we have ping pong balls. Always hit. In fact, I'm going to throw one of these out in the room right now. And these are all ping pong balls with the Kitten Academy logo on them, which are awesome, Pat. Thank you so much. We had these for endowments before. We just got out before we moved. Yeah. So now we've got a giant bag of all of these with the Kitten Academy logo on it. We like to put a couple of these in each endowment because they are ping pong balls are great cat toys anyway. Yes, that will end up under the cage immediately. That's fine, though. Oh, my gosh. I didn't realize these are the, the uh, what do you call these, fun, spring, to, uh, fun, fun tubes. Yes, fun tubes. Wait. They're Kitten Academy what? branded. How what? I don't know if that's possible. Where kittens learn to cat. Yes, they all what? say, they all say Kitten Academy where kittens learn to cat with the logo on it. How did you do I don't know how you did this. That is the coolest thing. How did you do this? Yeah. Kitten Academy, where kittens what? learn to cat on every single one of them. That is completely cool. I hope you guys can see this. That is the just the coolest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen the branded fun tubes before. And you sent a whole bag of them. Wow. I know. These guys love the fun tubes, by the way. I'm going to leave one of these out right now, too. I just do this little just... Oh, okay. They have to drink out of the water bowl because I unplugged the fountain for mailbag and they've all gone to the fountain and looked at it like this isn't working. Now they figure out the water bowl again. Oh, you really packed these in here too, Pat. I don't know how to get this closed now that I've opened it. You can do it. I don't know about that. This is a challenge that you will overcome. Uh, uh. Oh my, DJ's got food on the brain. I really don't think I can get this to close again. Do you want to try this? Yeah. Well, of course they are compressible. All right, DJ's got it. 
Oh, here we have another, the Kitty Copter. Uh, this is one, I haven't seen this one for a long time. It's a great one. It's got a little weighted ball on the end, and then it's got these three feathers, so you throw it, and when you throw it, it spins around and really attracts some attention. The kids are going to love that. Okay, next. What is this? Uh, for those who are arrow challenged, please swipe up. So it is a pillow, it is a swiping pillow. It says, please swipe up. For those who are directionally challenged, there's another arrow that goes the other way. That's a joke on DJ, who doesn't know how arrows work. That is so cool. It looks like the faculty at dinner, yes. What? Is it? It's the faculty at dinner. That's too cool. That is too cool. Wow, it's a recent picture, too. I just yeah. shared this picture the other day. I know. I was showing that to my colleagues when I was away. It says Mermaid Pillow Company. Mermaid oh, Pillow cool. Company. Pat, this is incredible. This is the coolest thing. And not only that, it's all sequins, and it's all very sparkly. I love the sparkle when it's not showing the yeah, so you can just swipe it down and have it oh, like gold sparkle, so you can swipe it up. Can I have a please? I'm playing with it. I don't play with it. Look, you can reveal just one cat. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the I think that's an acro. Is that acro? Yeah. Oh my god, how cool. I know, it's like, a, it's like find the cat. Find the mangy tail. Yeah. Wow, that is so fun, Pat. Thank you. That's it. That You're is super that cool. Now. I know DJ's gonna spend all day now going. Oop, oop, oop. I am. This is a, this is too fun to play with. We can make patterns. <gasps> what? Can I have a thing? Oh my god, that's just too cool. Yeah, this oh, is completely oh, cool. Oh, no, you can't have it. I'm taking it. Come on. <gasps> Hello. That is really cool, Pat. Wow. Wait, you said some other stuff. Oh, look at this. This is a little tiny bottle that says Whisker Collection, and it's from Trouble and Carrie. Aww. Look at that. You said one of each of their whiskers. That is adorable. In a bottle, even. Those are for you, for your whisker collection. I know, that's spectacular. So here we have ugly holiday sweater socks. And it says, it's lit. <laughs> it says, it's lit. And it's got a little pom-pom nose on this reindeer. And the note says, since it must be almost Christmas time at KA Land. Well, look at that. I've got a whole Christmas theme going today, then. It is almost Christmas time always around here, though. These are really cool. I love these, Pat. Thank you so much. Wow, this is so awesome. And then finally, you sent a non-contact infrared thermometer for pets, which can tell a pet body temperature yeah. uh, through, I guess, you measure the ear, a measured animal's ear temperature. Very cool. You have to try that. Yeah, you can check other hairless parts as reference. So you have to measure a, a hairless part, yes. Yeah. It actually says it has three uh, modes, too. It says you can measure the pet using a hairless part, like the inside of the ear. You can measure a surface, like their bath water or their milk. Oh, perfect. Yeah, and you can measure the room. It says thought future cats might find this a little easier. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm excited to try this out and see how accurate it is. That sounds fantastic. Hmm. Very cool. Thank you. That's that's super high tech stuff. Pat, you said some really really cool stuff. I can't believe it. Oh, and DJ got these clothes. Wow. Good job. All right. Well, thank you very much. Oh, somebody's in here stealing the little paper notes. Cartwheels in here stealing your paper notes. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see, I'm going to set these out because these are clearly just for us. And the rest of the stuff can either be for us or for endowments. So I'm going to put it in the box for endowments. Look at that, the food tower. I know, I, that's how I knew it was a picture of ours. <laughs> I saw the food tower. I'm like, oh, 
this is really because it's hard for me to tell from this angle but when you yeah. show it to me from there and yeah, i'm sure yeah now i can clearly see yeah it's, um, it's all of them gathered at the dinner that is the coolest thing will that go in our sunroom you think yeah yeah very cool all right there's one more box that i haven't opened the one i'm sitting in front of i think this one here this also says for KACon raffle, and I think this is the other box from Millie Cat, probably. Yeah, it's beautiful. What are you doing, Twister? There we go, and it is. Um, although this one doesn't have the labels. Oh, it does have labels in it. This one says. For a K-A-Con, the cheese of chassafras and the tricorn. Wow, so they, they have names. I love it. Yeah, the cars are super cute. Yeah, the chassafras. Here, let me just tilt this out and show it to you guys. So here we have one that's got these blue and the red on it that are beautiful. And then we've got this one that has the, uh, the gray and teal and yellow. They're both gorgeous. Wow. These are going to be fantastic at the raffle. That's just, I'm sure everybody's going to want these. Thank you so much, Lily Cat. Wow, you make a ton of those little blankets. Uh, they are so soft. The kittens are going to love them. Everybody's going to love them. Okay, uh, that does it for mailbag. 45 minutes. That one went really fast, and it was almost entirely raffle stuff. And we have Pat as our combo breaker, I guess. Oh, and uh, Susan's map. Thank you, Susan. I'll figure it out, I promise. Uh, people at KACON are probably going to be quizzing me now. Uh, anyway. All right. Well, uh, I guess it's time to get this stuff put away. We've got a closet in the basement that's full of all the raffle and endowment stuff, but it's getting to the point now where I'm probably going to have to split it up. No, oh, no, that's completely unrelated. Sorry. Um, huh. What? I've got, it's about our, the sale of our house, our old house. The old Kitten Academy, we're working on getting it sold still. And the realtor just sent me a mysterious message, uh, which I guess I'll have to call somebody about. She says that they want the garage cleared out and that I should get somebody in there to clear out the garage. Except I already did that. The only stuff that was still in the garage is stuff that is like replacement tile for the kitchen that I'm sure they would want. Yet they apparently have sent me a message saying they want to clear out. Okay. Something I'm gonna guess. Get it out. Yeah, I just call the same guys to clear out the rest of the house and tell them to. Is there a lot? No, not a lot. Was the was maybe they don't want those table things that no, those are, those are those are built in. That's part of the house. Yeah. Can't clear those out. The ones that Todd built. They're not part of the house. That's probably what they're talking. No, they are. They're, they're built into the wall. They're part of the house. I don't know. We'll figure it out. That's not really, it's neither here nor there. I guess it's there. It is there, and they have wheels. It's almost the same thing. So that they can fit in the line of the wall. Maybe it would make sense if they were talking about the one bench that has wheels. I mean, if, 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 you know, that's not the kind of stuff they have, it does take up a lot of space. That's true. I don't know. I'll ask her to get some clarification, um, and then we'll work it out from there. Because yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd hate to have them somebody come in and actually throw away all that, like the replacement tile for the kitchen and the dining room. Why would you throw that away? There's also replacement tile for the bathroom that we did. Yeah, but they're not talking about that. But they're talking about the workbench. Space. 
That workbench is extremely nice. I, I think if that's if they want that gone, we should find somebody that wants it because it is seriously nice. And it weighs about a thousand pounds, so you need somebody to get it out of there. All right, sorry about that distraction. That uh, has nothing to do with anything. Um, all right. Oh, yeah. Hey, sorry. I'm just going to walk away. So uh, at any rate, we're going to do the usual thing where I take all this stuff out of the room. And then after that, we went in the archives. So there we go. Sorry, I got distracted at the end there. We need to take some pictures of that and record it. He is so cartwheel is out there already, and Logan in here just having a love fest. Oh, but now Logan stopped because she got out the camera. He is running up and chasing Logan and rubbing on him and being super cute. Cartwheel just thinks that Logan is like his dad or something. Okay, raffle, 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 raffle. I need to label these better for the raffle. Oh, and I took the pen away. No, oh, I already put it. Do what we can here. I'm gonna plug this uh, fountain back in for the kitties. Yeah, I'm gonna try to plug this fountain back in for the kitties. Oh, and I'm going to unplug the lamp at the same time. Good, good job, me. Good job, me. Every time I open the door, another kitten slips out, but I'm, I'm just, I have to be careful not to let Whimsy out because she gets very protective of her kittens around the faculty. So we can't have them and her out together unless the faculty is in the way.
DJ is taking video of them right now, so she'll probably end up uploading that to our channel like she does sometimes. I'm gonna I'm gonna just leave this box here so that we have a place to put that map when DJ decides to remove it from the room. Sorry, right, Wimsy. No Wimsy's allowed right now. Mm -hmm. Wimsy level zero. Did you need to decide if you're in or out? Okay, you can stay in with mom then. Well, at least you're going out to pick her paws through the door.
All right, I saw that they just hit that microphone hard enough to really make some noise. My apologies. Uh, let's see here. Yes, hello. Thanks for coming up. They are being wild right now. Uh, all right. Well, anyway, thanks for so much for watching the mailbag. I'm going to end the mailbag archive. But if you want to see more wild kittens, uh, you can definitely look for the regular Kitten Academy live stream. Or if that's what you're watching right now, just keep watching. It won't be going anywhere. Yes, you won't be going anywhere either, Twist. I know. You guys are crazy to go out now. All right. Thanks, everybody.